Hello, everyone. Welcome to week three writing lesson. Uh, first of all, we're going to be identifying and understanding the genre of fantasy in writing. And I'm pretty sure you're all aware of this genre. We'll get to go into details. And the second objective uh, for the week is identifying the elements of plot diagram. Again, uh, I'm sure you guys remember, or at least most of you remember, the plot diagram. We've had previous lessons covering uh, uh, this topic along with uh, some practice. Fantasy is a made-up story. It is a made-up story, which has elements or parts within, within it which are not realistic. They have nothing to do with real life. Whatever happens in your fantasy story does not happen in real life. Characteristics of fantasy. Now, when, when we are creating or constructing a fantasy writing, we need to keep in mind the following. Fantasy writing is a fiction piece which cannot happen in real life. All the events that happen in your fantasy writing do not exist in real life. The events might be uh, magical and funny, but they can also be scary at times. Animals act like people. It has mystical powers and good versus evil. I would like to start with a very simple, uh, the summary of a very simple uh, story, Cricket in Times Square. Uh, this is uh, a fantasy story. And when I say fantasy, I mean the author's purpose is to entertain. Let's read the summary together. Chester Cricket got much more than he bargained for when he climbed into a picnic basket in his Connecticut meadow. He got a trip all the way to New York City. There, in the Times Square subway station, Mario Bellini, the son of the newsstand owners, finds Chester and makes a home for him in a matchbox. One evening, after the newsstand closes, Chester makes friends with Tucker Mouse and Harry the Cat, who take him above ground to see the sights of the city. Now here, I want you to pay attention to the red highlighted parts, okay? Uh, how can I identify fantasy in a text? First of all, Chester, the character in the story, climbed onto, uh, into a picnic basket and he took a trip all the way to New York. Now, who would do that? This is something that never happens in real life. You take a plane to travel, to move from one place to another. You take the car, you take the train, but using, taking a picnic basket in order to have a trip, take a trip all the way to New York City, this is unreal. Going to the second part, when Mario Bellini finds Chester and makes a home for him in a matchbox. Who lives in a matchbox? This too is unreal. Let's go to the names. Tucker Mouse and Harry the Cat. It's obvious here that the characters in this story are animals and they make friends. Magical and funny. Characters in uh, any fantasy genre include wizards, witches, superheroes, mythical creatures, talking animals, and ghosts. These are the characters that usually uh, play in uh, fantasy uh, pieces. Themes that you can find in fantasy texts. And when I say fantasy texts, 
I'm talking about writing and I'm talking about literature, even in novels and stories that you read. For example, the theme of good versus evil. In most uh, fantasy novels or movies, we find the uh, protagonist fighting against the antagonist. It's good versus evil. The second theme, the idea of greed versus unselfishness. Greediness, people who are greedy versus people who uh, are generous. The idea of the meaning of life and death, fighting for life and death. So these three uh, themes uh, are exactly what cover fantasy texts. Mystical powers. When I talk about mystical powers, I'm talking about characters that have or hold powers that we read about, we watch, but they do not exist in real life. These characters include Spider-Man, for example, who can, for example, shoot out spider's web. We, as readers and audience, we know that a normal person in real life cannot do this. So, eventually, this type of uh, text or this type of uh, character falls and fits into the idea of fantasy. Another example would be Superman. We all love the movie. We enjoyed reading the book. Yet, we all know as readers and uh, audience when we watch the movie, we know that people in real life do not fly. So, this uh, topic falls under fantasy genre too. Here we have five essential elements, five very important elements that every fantasy piece needs. First of all, a magical system. Look at the words, magical system. Think of that. A well-developed setting, going back to our previous presentation about setting, we're talking about the time and the place the story happens or the story takes place. Characters, a conflict, central conflict, regard, regardless uh, if it's an internal conflict, external conflict, a problem that takes place. Power structure, system of government. Who controls the government in your story, the, in your own world? Who, who has the power? Now, we're going to go into details later in uh, week four uh, presentation. As for today, I will end the presentation here and I will leave you to think of each of the above elements. Why do you think these elements are essential in fantasy writing? This will be part of this week's writing discussion. I need you to take it uh, serious, please, and I need you to think of each and every element uh, that fits into uh, the fantasy piece. Thank you for now. Take good care.